The Rothschild Group is integrally linked to the International Monetary Fund, the IMF, and the World Bank. These international organizations are a primary source of aid for developing countries and those undergoing dire financial straits. Loans from these organizations come with certain conditions attached which tend to oblige the country receiving the loan to completely reform their economic system. As both organizations are heavily populated with Chicago school economists, these conditions tend to involve the imposition of austerity policies and the privatization of national industries. This leaves the assets of the country vulnerable to cannibalization by large private companies such as the Rothschild Banking Group. Over the years it has become increasingly clear that these policies enrich these wealthy companies and those who own them but do very little to improve the lives of the general public. Prior to the election of Evo Morales, Bolivia was one of the countries struggling through IMF-slash-World Bank imposed austerity and privatization. Under these conditions, Bolivia became the poorest country in South America. Since Morales took office in 2006, all of this has changed. Morales, who is the first indigenous Bolivian president, has transformed the country into the fastest growing economy on the continent. His agenda has focused on poverty reduction and economic and political sovereignty and, so far, his efforts have been highly successful. For instance, foreign oil and gas companies operating in the country must pay 82% of their profits in tax. The revenue accrued from this policy has been poured into a large number of social programs aimed at poverty reduction and educational programs. The strength of the Bolivian economy at this present time has emboldened Morales to reject the assistance of organizations such as the IMF and the World Bank altogether. Speaking during a visit to Terija in the south of the country Morales said, before, in order to obtain credit from the IMF, we were forced to give up a part of our country, but we have liberated ourselves economically and politically, and we are no longer dependent on other countries or institutions. The transformation of the Bolivian political and economic scene under Morales has given hope to countries across the world. The Bolivian government has demonstrated that it is possible to transform an economy in a positive manner without bowing to the influence of the IMF, the World Bank and their partners in the private banking sector.